empty the chamber on them. And how do you do that? Four, six seconds, 28 point feet, everything you got. Everything you got. Turn that shit up. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the Scoop World Order. We have a very special guest today. We're very excited about this one. Um, one of the hottest things in college football right now is the NIL. And uh, how do we combat it as Ohio State supporters and uh, people that care about the team? And there's a guy out there right now that is leading the charge as good as anybody. Real quick before we get to him, appreciate you guys. I know you love the content. Hit up the a little subscribe, a little alert. We've got a ton of content coming this weekend, so I uh, go ahead and do that. But I'm going to bring in my man. Hang on one second. I got a. There he is, my man, Deshot. You get a, a, every slide after this says Deshot, so you can follow him on Twitter. Anyone that has questions from Brian Shot and seeing how are you today, my friend? Good, Kurt. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, we are uh, real excited about this one. Um, Tell us a little bit about what you are launching with Cardell, uh, the foundation. You know, you've got um, some some big plans to help Ohio State win the NIL war. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that and, and maybe a little bit about how people that are listening can help and participate and uh, do what they can to help support Ohio State in, in their athletic programs. So we recently received approval for 501c3. And it's called the foundation, not the foundation, it's the, um, yeah. because like the Ohio State University. And we're really excited about this. Um, we believe that this is going to be the largest uh, NIL fund in the country and are going to fight to make it that. Um, our goal is for this not only to help out with recruiting, but current student athletes and um, both in football and basketball to start, and then we will branch it out into the other sports down the road. And the beauty of this is since we are a 501c3, anybody that eventually goes onto our website once that is launched, um, we'll be able to make a donation, whether it's $5 or $5,000, it's tax deductible. So it's like giving it to a charity instead of just giving it directly to the student athlete. So it's not only good for businesses, but it's also good for individuals who might not have a business who want to make a charitable donation. So that's great. Also, we're going to be partnering up with many local charities. So bringing awareness to these charitable organizations and teaching the student athletes the importance of giving back to the community is another benefit of our foundation. So we're really excited about that. And, um, you know, we're, we're hopefully going to have the website launched by April 1st. And people can go online and, and make a donation. We're going to have multiple events a year. Um, so it's going to be fun as well. And we really appreciate all the positive feedback we've been getting on social media. We have launched our uh, logo. So you guys saw that yesterday on my tweet. And uh, we worked with Ohio State on making sure that that logo was good to go. And um, we're really excited about this. Again, I'm not making anything off of this. I'm doing this purely for my passion for Ohio State sports and for charity and, uh, you know, just volunteering my time along with Cardell Jones. And we're going to have many former student athletes um, that are now, whether they're in the NFL or NBA, part of our advisory board, uh, local business leaders are going to be on our board and we'll be announcing those board members here soon. I'm, Really excited about it. I love Cardell. I've I've known Cardell since twelve when he showed up, and he was a he was a kid that actually went to military school to get a year of separation from Braxton, who came in at eleven. Because him and Braxton are the same age, but he came in a year later and he redshirted so he could get some separation from Braxton. But I love Cardell. I love that he's a part of it. His spirit is great. Obviously, he had a magical run winning the national championship. Um, Brian, I think the the best thing we could do now is we have some great members on Buckeye Scoop, some people that really love what you're doing and love the stuff. Um, and they just have a few questions for you. So I'm uh, just going to get right to those real quick. So this is one of my favorite guys in the world, Buck Tooth, um, really one of the great guys. So um, he wants to know, you know, how – how can they engage and, and like when will you guys be able to start engaging in terms of giving money to, to benefit the foundation and uh and, and can you direct it where you need it to go so we will be able to um have funds 
um, really could be now, but we're going to wait until our website is launched um, because it'll be easy. You can go online, just like let's say you were, you know, it was a political campaign. You're going on and make a donation. It'll be very simple through PayPal. You go on, you make your donation. Um, for certain levels of giving, you'll be able to, to designate like to a specific team. For instance, mm -hmm. we're working with somebody now who wants to make a really large six figure gift to the wrestling team. So for certain amounts, you'll be able to give to other teams, but eventually um, we'll have more than just football and basketball involved with this. But we want to start with those two sports, make sure everything's up and running properly, and then we'll maybe go to others after that. Yeah, and, and, and some of these might be a little further down the line, but um, he, he, do, you, do you recommend cars over cash? You know, I work with Rick Riker. We've been very active with NIL, um, doing leases with cars. Is uh, is that something that you guys are considering, or is it just going to be like a straight cash influx to, to the participants that you work with? So Rick Riker is actually going to be on our advisory board. Talked to him this week. So uh, we're excited to have him involved. And we're not like um, a management company, so I'm not like hire, I'm not going to be managing these student athletes and their decisions. Cardell Jones has his own company, Ten Talent. So if they want to sign with him to manage them, they they can go ahead and do that. But we don't. Whoever the athlete has as their manager, that's fine. We don't we don't care. Um, we'd like for them to go with Cardell, but it's a separate company. So we're not going to be like um, doing car deals or anything like that. Um, we're just specifically raising money um, to go to um, the student athletes and then we'll have them make appearances, autograph signings at local charities, which is important to us. Um, could we have an event at Reichardt or something like that? Sure. But um, the deals that he makes with the, with those athletes is going to be separate. Okay. And will there be any coordinating with Ohio State? Say this is like used for recruiting a five-star quarterback. Would there be any coordination with Ohio State, or is that separate from what you guys would be doing? Uh, that'll be separate from what we're doing. I mean, I know Ohio State has their edge fund. We have talked to them, um, and, and they're going to be more helping out the student athletes make decisions. So we will be talking to them, but not specifically in relationship to recruiting. Um, however, we do believe this will be a benefit for recruiting, for sure. That's yeah, I, I, I can't wait to see this in action. Appreciate you, KP. I'm going to move on to my man, Arnold. So uh, this is uh, this is really good because, you know, a lot of people are worried about, like, what's the SEC doing? What are other conferences doing? You know, what's Oregon doing? Some of the, 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 the people that have the affluent donors. Um, are you researching what, what they're doing just so that we are at the, the edge of the competition? Yeah, of course. Uh, you know, I originally looked into what Texas was doing, and there's their fund specifically focused on offense alignment. Um, and I've looked into other schools as well. I've done some research uh, for the past, you know, six months or so. So I believe that our fund will not only raise more money, but will also be much more user friendly and easier for fans to engage with us. So I, yeah, I, I don't. I think we'll be at the top of NIL. I know we're we're starting a little bit late. Uh, I originally um, was what was one person who testified at the state house for NIL with Cardell Jones, Gene Smith, and Ryan Day were there. And I never really planned on being involved with NIL. Like you know, personally at, at the time, I just did it because I believed in it. But when I saw that these other schools we're coming out with these funds and, and, you know, it was really helping the recruiting. I was like, Ohio state cannot be left behind and I need to, to get out there and do something because if we can't compete, you know, with recruiting, you know, our, our, our team will certainly fall behind. And I did not want that to happen. I want to make sure we're in the top, you know, three to five recruiting every year for football and, and up there in basketball as well. Yeah. And I mean, I, I think this is almost, it's almost better to be a second mover with this because I think a lot of people probably made mistakes initially and you can, you know, do this correctly and do it really efficiently. And I think people are really excited about it. And of course he has the, you know, the, the fall guy thing. All right, I'm going to pass on that. You're the best, my man. Um, get a couple of these, uh, cause some of these you've actually already answered, which is even great. Uh, this is a big one that I get a lot. How can the average fan help with, with the foundation, with the foundation? Because some people are like, Oh, well, you know, it's, it's, the super high-end donors or, you know, can I 
give 50 bucks or 100 sure. bucks or whatever and just talk a little bit about how just like the average fan can can kick it and help out well that's the beauty of this is right now nil is so based around businesses and large mm -hmm. large um you know dollars whether it's you know the student athletes supporting the business and getting the dollars in return um and the average fan is kind of left out so this is the best way to bridge that gap a fan can go online and make a dollar donation if they want you know or five dollars ten dollars and think about the ohio state alumni base we have hundreds of thousands of people so even a, a ten dollar donation can go a long way if, if we get multiple multiple people to, to engage with our our website so we'll, we'll have that availability where any fan can go on and they can give ten dollars or ten thousand dollars so don't think that you're going to be left out um we want everybody to be involved with this we're going to have multiple events where our fans can be there with with football and basketball players um so we're excited about that as well we might do like giveaways with autograph signings and stuff like that so Fans will all be involved, whether or not they give a $5 donation or, or $5,000 donation. It doesn't matter. We want all fans to be engaged. Yeah, I, um, I'm i really excited about it. And, and you mentioned, you know, kind of getting into the other sports as you, you know, get it off the ground with football and basketball. Um, you know, in terms of in involvement with, like, say, the football program, Will there be any like direct involvement between say you and Ryan day? Like say we're going after this particular player or is that something that you've guys got to evaluate further down the road? We're still evaluating that. I want to make sure everything's done above board. Yep. Um, so, you know, hopefully we'll, we, we will be able to um, talk to recruits. Obviously they can't get any funds until they're officially a student athlete at Ohio state. But I think that, um, just them knowing that's this in place and knowing that this football player got this amount of money, you know, and they see that, Hey, they have that potential to receive that too. Um, I think it'll definitely help out in recruiting. Yeah. It's it, it just having a, such an efficient tool and being able to see the support behind it from, you know, our fan base, which is obviously very excited about something like this and you, you providing the ease of use for people to be able to, to kick in and help out. I think it's going to be, it's going to be spectacular. So yeah, I believe this I is the uh, coaches are probably excited about. It. I've seen a lot of them retweeting my tweets, so they got to well, be happy. With this. Yeah, I mean, you're you're giving them like a, you know basically like you know the Excalibur sword to swing, you know, in the recruiting now. So you're actually going to have like a fund that's well managed. It's above board. Um, right. you know, it's obviously one of the one of the legendary you know names in the history of Ohio State. So it's I mean it's like everything's pretty much aligned and perfect. So I know there, they have to be no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, Bo, Bo, actually well, both of you. I mean, I mean, I, I love like, 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 again, I love Cardell. If you say Cardell, what do you think of Kirk? I mean, I remember him when he was a little, we used to call him Bambi on ice when he was a freshman running around and he'd have to practice on Sunday nights after, you know, we watched film when we had the young guys. It was kind of like we had, we'd scrimmage the young guys that didn't play in the games and Cardell was like yeah. our quarterback and he's a little freshman. So I, I, I love Cardell. I, I was so happy when he won that title because I'm like, he's such a good kid. He's got such a great yeah. smile. Like, he's the best. So I, I met him originally on the Buckeye cruise. Uh, yeah. I don't know, maybe six or seven years ago, and he was in my wedding last year. Uh, yeah. We become like best friends, and you know, he's he's really a smart guy. I've really been impressed with just seeing him even grow the last few years. Now that he's kind of getting into the business world, and yeah. I think he's going to add a lot more to the table than just. You know, being Cardell Jones, I think he, he really brings a a, um, a lot of instinct and and um, intelligence to this NIL because he's lived it. You know, think about how much yeah. money he would have made if NIL was available during the twelve gauge years and after that national championship. I mean, it would have been yeah. millions. Yeah, I mean, I, I played with you know the original some of the original Glenville guys with Troy Smith, Ted Ginn, Dante Whitner. You know, I mean, those guys, you know, I mean, especially, you know, Troy was a legend, Heisman winner, you know, would have made, you know, millions off of NIL, yeah. you know, after, after beating Notre Dame okay. and that whole run up, I mean, he would he have done great, you know, yeah. autograph settings, that kind of thing. So it's crazy to think of. So this is the last, uh, last questions, I promise, um, well, at least for now anyways, but we, um, is there any way, do you guys, is it straight, um, monetary donations or goods and services, memorabilia, or is there anything else that people can give right now? I mean, obviously, I know you don't want to have a big stock of stuff, but like, you know, I know that, you know, 
cash liquids usually the easiest way to to maneuver but is there anything else that you guys accept as of now or is it strictly you know cash donations well we're going to focus on cash but if for, during the events that we have if people want to donate certain items and stuff like that you know that would be great um but right now it's really going to be based around uh you know trying to raise money for these student athletes um because they're already working with, you know, car companies and furniture companies and all that with their managers. And we are not going to get into that industry. You know, Cardell's got that going, but I, you know, it's going to be enough to manage the money, let alone all the, all the other ins and outs of NIL. Yeah. And, and this is something that is interesting because it's, it always seems to kind of be a thorn for most athletic departments is, you know, are you going to approach some of the former, you know, alums that are now successful NBA players that have, that have inked the major deals or NFL players have inked the major deals to get them to kind of pay it forward, to keep the the program going. Cause that's something that's, it's always hard around athletic departments is that sometimes they can't get their, their former athletes to give back at the rate you would expect given, you know, how prosperous they've been. So it, do you have a mechanism in place? Cause I know you guys have great relationships. With a lot of these guys yeah. um, to, to kind of spur that on. Yeah, for sure. We, uh, um, I'm not going to announce names yet, but we have uh, very high profile NBA and NFL players that are going to be involved with this um, and, and business leaders throughout Central Ohio. And um, so we're excited about that. Uh, and, um, you know, some people that were major Ohio State athletes never gave anything. Now this is like they're calling and they're, and they're excited and they've reached out to me they're like you know how can i be involved so it's nice to see um the former student athletes wanting to come back and, and nil is a way that they feel like they can contribute to the current student athletes yeah and, and to, to wrap this up you know what kinds of you know this is a great question but from macmillan what kind of the outreach will you guys be doing to you know instill the values of of, of what this is providing and, and, and again, furthering it down the line for these, these kids to, to continue paying it forward. Are you talking about the current student athletes? Yeah. Like, I, I, you know, I, so, I mean, you mentioned charitable events and, and that type of thing. Um, what, what kind right. of events will you be holding? I know you kind of glossed over it a little bit. Um, you know, things that people can attend, what kind of events are you, are you planning on doing? So we're going to have a launch event in April, um, still working out the details of it. Um, our goal is to let everybody know about the launch date um, on social media, and then people can go online and make um, donations and sign up if they want to come to our first event where we'll have current football and basketball players there. And, um, you know, this is nice, too, because it's going to create awareness for these student athletes to giving back to our community. Um, and charity. It's not just how they're doing on the field, but how they're doing off the field as well. So that's another benefit of this um, foundation for sure. Yeah. And and this is a final question. And you touched on this because you study, you said what Texas is doing with the offensive line group, but you you, you guys do have an intention of, of doing things like that eventually, correct? But I know it's it's kind of a murky water because this thing's all, all of this is so new. So it's hard to say, oh yeah, we're going to do this for sure. But um, you do have intention of maybe sponsoring like, you know, a quarterback room or oh. a receiver room eventually. Yeah. I mean, all, all of our funds are going to be going to football and basketball players to start. So, yeah. I mean, um, you know, I, I can't name like specific players right now or have the amounts, yeah. but, you know, just know if you go online and when we're, when we're live, you make a donation, you know, it, it's going to go to, you know, current student athletes. Um, it's not just going to be like one position, like offense lineman. It, it'll be multiple student athletes, maybe, and it might not be, you know, um, players that are that are starting. There might be a potential for others to, to some of the newer, you know, freshmen and players that are coming in to make money as well. Man, I I can't tell you how excited I am about this. I know that you've got a lunch you've got to get to, Brian. I appreciate you, my friend. I mean, we're here for you at BuckeyeScoop.com. Anything I could do to help you, help promote it. Um, you've got incredible people around you with Cardell and Rick Reichert and some of the other people you mentioned off air. Um, so excited about this. I think this is going to keep us at the cutting edge. Um, you're doing, you're doing, uh, you know, amazing work. So you let me know what I can do. Um, in closing, do you have any any final regard or uh, remarks for uh, for our BuckeyeScoop.com subscribers? 
I would just say keep an eye on my Twitter. It's D A Shot S C H O T T the Shot, yeah. and also Cardell Joneses because uh, we're going to be releasing information about our launch date, the website um, URL, so you can go on that website and donate and and sign up for our first launch party. So yeah. just keep an eye on that, and we're really excited. Thank you to Buckeye Scoop and everybody that has been so supportive of this foundation called the foundation as uh i've been working really hard every day to make this come uh, become a reality and uh again i'm just doing it because of my passion for ohio state sports and giving back to the community and um you know don't plan on making anything from it just very excited and go bucks Hey, you're you're the man. I appreciate you. Let's get Cardell on here next, and then we'll when you okay. launch again, we'll have you back on. But yeah, I I'd, I'd love to yeah, get, we'll Cardell get Cardell on. on that, uh, that's my boy. So I appreciate you, my man. Get to your lunch. Um, in closing, Scoop family, I appreciate you. Um, anybody that has yet to join Buckeye Scoop, we are growing like a weed. Our site has been on fire. Uh, we're going to be at the head of the NIL deal. So join in BuckeyeScoop.com subscribe anyone that's got if you've got a fan who's a diehard fan who wants to know what's really going on inside the ohio state program or the place to be so with that this has been the scoop world order